Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna do something a bit different. So we're gonna do a Q&A. I asked you to ask me questions on Instagram. One second. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm gonna answer them while we're walking around in Oslo so you get the feel of the city. Let's go! Liv asked me how do you edit your photos uh, and what camera do you have? My camera is a Sony A7S and I'm editing my photos in Vesco. I use the filter A4. On my stories I add some grain and sometimes use after life. Uh, a lot of you are asking about my new living situations, if I have moved in with my boyfriend, where we are living, what it feels like and all that. And uh, yes, I moved in with my boyfriend a couple of days ago. Uh, and it's a temporary place, uh, but we're gonna try to make it our home. For the next few months and uh, yeah are you going to celebrate halloween if yes uh, what are you gonna wear uh, yes i'm going to two events and one of them i'm dressing as a soldier number two i'm dressing as a man so i'm very excited about that i'm gonna go all in with the character i love dressing up when you have been out solo traveling. Uh, the first place that I traveled to that was a bit different when I've been traveling solo was the Philippines. For some reason it didn't, this may sound crazy, but it didn't affect me that much there and then. It did later when I kind of got home and processed it all and everything. Uh, but I was so young and very I was so eager to just get away from home that I didn't really think too much about it, which sounds very superficial, but that was the reality. I was very young. Um, but later, it was Brazil, where I moved with my ex-boyfriend, and I was not happy there because it was so freaking different. I had no friends, no job, no studies, and no one spoke English to me. <laughs> So I, I lived there for six months, but it was really, really mentally hard. And also in Norway, we're very calm, it's very quiet, we're very introverted people. Um, and there it's the opposite, very extroverted people, a lot of noise and a lot of gatherings all the time, which is very beautiful and lovely and awesome, but over a period of six months and I was living in this tiny apartment with this big family that was very loud <laughs> and I it was very 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 mentally draining so that was probably the biggest cultural shock and it's very annoying because a lot of people when they talk about Brazil <laughs> a lot of people when they talk about about Brazil they say that it's the most awesome place and I totally believe them but my experience there wasn't that great as uh, so I really want to go back just to have a new positive experience with that country. I've been trying to manifest love, but it, I'm sorry that I'm smiling, it's just that I'm... Uh, I've been trying to manifest love, but it has most certainly not arrived. What am I doing wrong? It can be, I don't know. It totally depends, but most likely, I would say, is that you don't have love for yourself. So, um, the energy that you radiate. You need to feel love for yourself, for others to be able to see that um, and treat yourself with love. And probably a lot of people will disagree because it sounds very weird, but 
it's the way you kind of carry yourself and what kind of actions you do every day based on that. So if you love yourself, obviously you take more care of yourself, you go out, you meet people, you smile and you radiate a good energy. But if you don't love yourself and don't respect yourself and don't take care of yourself in that way, you take uh, more negative actions and yeah, I believe that that might be it. So learn to love yourself, it takes time. Just, um, I don't know, take the first steps by accepting your flaws and speak kind to yourself because it's very easy to criticize yourself all the time. Picture yourself as you were when you were a five-year-old kid. You wouldn't talk to yourself in that way then, if that makes sense. Are you going to be doing Cormus this year? I'm not sure. It's a lot of work, very stressful, and I really want to enjoy December, but I'll try to make three videos a week at least for my channel and then three on Chris and Corn channel. That's the plan, we'll, we'll see. Amita asked me, how do you keep yourself motivated? I'm like everybody else, that it goes up and down, but I have found that the more I let myself relax every evening, once a week, then it uh, I feel unmotivated less often because it's very easy to burn yourself out, especially when you have a job that isn't defined at certain times. So, yeah, let myself relax. In general, what motivates me is um, having like a vision of what I see my, my life to be like. So I picture the life that I want to live and then I know what I need to do to get there and then it's very easy and motivating. What do you think Norway or Oslo needs for it to be the perfect home? For me, it's... Um, I think the close-mindedness. I know I've said this a billion times before, but people dress the same, they eat the same, they think the same, they work as the same, they study the same. And don't get me wrong, it's a lot of great people, beautiful, kind, very very humble people most Norwegian people I know are very very humble which I love but um, for me it's a very big problem and an issue to constantly feel that if I make a if I choose differently than other people I constantly need to explain why and defend myself which is very annoying people don't just let you be the way you are which I have found that they do in a lot of other countries that I have lived in and visited and so that's the main issue for me. Um, but what I do love about Norway, on a positive note, is the seasons. I love the change in seasons. I love the winter, I love the fall. I love that the colors change. I love that there's a different mood and you kind of, for every new uh, season, you get uh, a new kind of inspiration. Like now it's fall, now it's time to work, it's time to be cozy, it's time to go for walks in the mountain stuff like that and in the winter it's a different mode and it kind of makes you reset and get a new motivation compared to when I used to live in LA and it was the same freaking perfect day every day and you, it's kind of mentally fucked up because you feel like you're living the same day over and over and over and it's freaking perfect but you you don't get that you can start over like blank pages you don't get that so we're at my mom's apartment now that's why change in scenery. What are your tips for those that want to publish an ebook? Um, my tips are give yourself a deadline. That's very important because since you don't have anyone that will, I don't know, hold you accountable, <laughs> you can only count on yourself to do the work and then it's very easy to drag it on if you don't have a set date. So for me personally, I only had a month to publish mine because I was in a financial crisis and I needed money. Um, so I had a month and I put everything else aside and made that a priority. If you have a job or go to school and this is kind of your hobby or something to do on the side, I would give yourself very strict hours and when to work on it. Other than that, I would um, be very clear on what the message with the ebook is. How do you have patience for the love attraction to work? I love you, by the way, you're my biggest inspiration. 
thank you so much I love you too and um, I think it comes with time because imagine everything that you think of now all the things you put out now in terms of energy and thoughts and feelings will be your reality later that means that right now you're living your old thoughts so what I used to think about and feel and express and radiate of energy is now manifesting and is my current reality so since I've been doing the love attraction for a long time I'm kind of always living in my dream world because most of the time I think positive so I'm very often in a very good state not always obviously things happen and I, I can be in a bad mood and things can be hard and all of that but um yeah so my point is that since I'm always kind of see things manifest into my life I'm not so impatient because there are always something exciting happening if you start right now from scratch and want to manifest something obviously you need to wait a while before that starts to happen and there are projects and stuff that I really want to happen but I have just learned that things happen at the right time uh, for example there's this project that I've been trying to launch and really uh, manifest for two to three years now and it always like it's very hard for it to start but for three years now I have become very more clear on what I want it to be so with time you get more flexible and you kind of uh, learn to listen to the universe because the universe knows best so just trust that it will happen at the right time and it would happen the right way because even if you have a, a picture in your mind of how you, how you want it to be that's not necessarily the best way I didn't know that I wanted to do YouTube all that I knew was that I wanted to film these small fun clips and post them online but the universe knew that this would be an even better idea that I could speak to an audience if that makes sense so just trust that even if you have a plan there might be a better plan out there that you haven't thought of yet so just put things out and then continue living your life and enjoy the now and the right things will happen at the right time that was a very long answer but I get very excited when I talk about these things and Nicholas <coughs> asks what are your thoughts about hunting? I prefer organic meat instead of meat full of antibiotics. Obviously it's better if the whole meat industry was ethical. That would obviously be better. If you really want to eat meat, that is obviously a better option. In my personal opinion, and there's no ethical way of killing an animal, but that's, I don't know, right for me, but not necessarily for you. So. Um, but I don't like hunting as a sport, I think it's kind of sick. I don't know, I don't get it at all. Do you have any special skincare recommendations and hair products that you love? A lot of you have been asking about my hair lately, and which I find very strange because it's not, <laughs> it looks very dirty all the time. Um, because I don't wash it that often but the products that I use and really really love is the one that I've been promoting for Love Beauty and Planet and I use the blue one for volume um, skincare I would say use minimal of um, don't put too much stuff on your skin find a cleansing foam or something like that that you love and stick to it and the same with an oil or a moisturizer and that's it don't put too much stuff on your skin um, and obviously the more natural and organic <coughs> and, um, vegan and that's great um, I use root of skincare cleansing foam and the body shop uh, oils for life oil that's it. Okay, so it's getting dark and I'm really cold. Uh, we only went to one part of Oslo because it's actually getting very cold. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I answered your questions and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and I can answer down there. And yeah, let me know what you want to see next. And yeah, need to go. Bye, be kind.